All right, give it back. She has huh? Hair Give what back? What are you talking about, back. lady? I can get rough, if that's how you want to play it. Ugh. Do you always go around bullying kids? Go on, take your stupid stuff. I don't want it. Excuse me there, young lady. May I ask you somewhat of a strange question? Have you had anything stolen by a pickpocket, for example? Yeah, just like a damn tourist. It was a kid, and he knew what he was doing. A young boy, was it? Uh, then he's still up to his old tricks. I know the lad, and his is a sorry tale. I'm not likely to hear a sadder one in all of Yusnan. If I compensated you, would you be so good as to forget this happened? You're sure it was this kid? Yes, it could be none other than the orphan boy Pickett. Then maybe he should be punished. He needs to learn that stealing is wrong. You see, the poor boy has lost both of his parents. Have you no sympathy at all? I've got plenty. He's not the first person in this world to lose someone they love. Have you... Uh, have you lost family too? Maybe. You have, haven't you? I can tell. Then you can help the boy. Someone like you will be able to reach out to him. I need you to give him this letter. It's from his father, who gave it to me for safekeeping. It's the only thing he left his son. I'll do it. But I don't see why you can't give it to him yourself. How did you know his father anyway? We were both hunters who tracked ferocious monsters, but then Pickett's father was killed, and his death was my fault. And so, he refuses to accept the letter from my hands. Please, won't you give Pickett the letter from his father? It may help him end his criminal ways and get his life back on track. Make you give back what you stole. It belongs to you anyway. Did you notice? Huh? What is it? A letter? And it's addressed to me? Oh yeah? Huh. It's from my old man. What am I supposed to do with this? Why are you asking me? It's yours now. Throw it away for all I care. Damn right I'll throw it away. And I don't need your permission either. Listen, I'm not gonna pretend I understand. It must be hard for you, losing your parents, then being trapped in a child's body for centuries and centuries all alone. That's right. You can't understand. No one can. Let me tell you something. I lost my parents, but it wasn't the same. I still had my sister. I wasn't left all on my own. I was luckier than you. So your parents are dead too? Yeah. It happened a long time ago, but I remember being really angry. People pitied me, treated me like a helpless child. I couldn't stand it. So, I pushed people away and built walls around me. But I still had my sister. She understood me. It's not fair. I didn't have anyone. I was left all alone. I know. If it were me, I couldn't have done what you did. You're a lot stronger than I am. You've done an amazing thing, going through that and surviving all these years. You should be proud of yourself. I should? I've never felt proud about anything. But when you put it like that, maybe I should be proud. The savior. She has rose-colored hair. And I gave the letter to pick it, weapon. although... I guess it's more accurate to say he stole it off me. He did? Um, but you know what? It might be the last thing he steals. I saw him just a little while ago, and something was different about him. He seemed proud, holding his head high. Why, he reminded me of his father. 
I think his criminal days might be over. You did the right thing. Helping that child. Maybe you shouldn't call him that. Child, I mean. He seems more mature than other kids. If you treated him more like the young man that he's become, he might listen to you. Yes. You're absolutely right. Of course. The next time I see little Pickett, I shall address him not as a child of my dear friend, but as a man in his own right. Thank you so much for all your help. <laughs>